Hello, hope everybody's having a good day so far. Um, first off, to answer your question, Rose, it's from Pokemon Platinum. It's a uh, Celestica town. Figured it had the uh, most uh, most uh. Oh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Cowboy theme, and I see, and I see you still protagonizing. Yep. I've been enjoying this game. It's 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 fucking hilarious. Also, I forgot to open up chat on my phone. A second. How are you doing today, Rose? I don't know if this game's connection to Kingdom of Loathing, or if it has one. All I know is that it exists. I actually kind of want to try it out, if, since this game has been so good. I've heard good things about it. Doing okay? Well, that's good, at least. Alright, I think I got chat up properly. 96. Oh, hold on. 96 percent liked according to Google. Nice. Okay, so I did some off-screen grinding just to get some more uh, words for the thing, as well as uh, some golden teeth because I wanted to see what this did. Golden tooth tiara. Or oh, sorry, she blinks with the gold teeth he handed her and takes a spool of white of her toolbox. She's just, soon she presents you with an elaborate tiara. Not enough, she mutters sadly. Not nearly enough. Oh, it's just a moxie thing. Okay. Actually, now that I did that, I want to go to. Not Jumble Neck. Deepest Elf. You're approached by uh, the shambling skeleton of a man with a lumber axe and a big bushy beard. So it's either the skeleton of a lumberjack or the skeleton of one of those Johnny Come Lately axe and beard fans. Hey, General. Did you learn I have vibrato? I learned some more words. Yes. I don't think I know every. I don't think I know nearly enough. But it's at least something. I also upgraded my skills a lot because of the grinding. You chop that skeleton like dead wood. Well, ex exactly like that, pretty much. So I maxed out my my bean and my uh, what's it called? My uh, frost bean. Finally beat the game on one of my accounts. Nice. I got the best ending possible. Nice. Yeah, I didn't know this game at, technically ended as soon as I beat the train. Like, there's still much more content to it. Ending is influenced by how you defeat Norton. Uh, so, I th did I do good then? Because it beat him peacefully. Yes. Oh, good. 
hit him with once, you should get a different ending than if you give him a crown according to the wiki. No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I killed him, I think. <laughs> nice. I love how it's the I think part. Oh, there's a travel little piece missing from the crossbar. It's your keystone. You answer the keystone in, in the crossbar, Snick. Enter the portal. El Vibrato Control Center. West Roberto Containment Power Offline. West Roberto. The shaft goes down further than you can see. The cross-shaped El Roberto device is going crazy. It snaps into a place of its own accord. Uh, the terminal, the terminal screen reads, West Roberto containment power offline, East Roberto containment power online. Positronic resonator detected. Not gonna lie, the El Vibrato thing they give you at the end of the subplot is actually great. Ooh, I can't wait to, uh, to use it then. This is where the Roberto thing is. Is there another thing I have to do? You need another cross shaped thing? I guess, maybe. Thank you for the hydrate. Did I already ask how you're doing, General? I forget if I've asked. It's not where the last Roberto thing is, you need to visit two more things. Okay. Apparently, this game is on Switch? Really? Now, that was a shocker. Uh, so I don't know if. Oh, I guess I can go to Curious False Mountain. Pass through a clearing and you see a young goblin carving something into a tree. It says Goblin's Rule, okay. You can't let this stand. You sternly tap the goblin on the shoulder, take the knife, and correct their spelling. Oh, goblins. Oh, fuck. I completely. James Bond film where you don't know who James Bond is. He's gonna cover everybody who's famous enough that he could possibly be James Bond. Is this another one of those Twitter things? Power terminal time. Chrono key terminal. Chrono key fabrication something power offline. Time squeezer online. Uh, time squeezer offline. Oh. Chrono key terminal. Primary terminal. Local power terminal. Select local power destination. Uh. Military coffee maker system. Local power terminal. Chrono key fabrication, maybe? Primary terminal, chrono key terminal. Initialize chrono key fabrication. Ooh. Got four new books. Hell yeah. Yeah, if it's. The coffee maker is actually really good. Okay, okay. Terminal makes a type of sound you've never heard before, and your bag gets slightly heavier. You need to guess and you investigate and find out. Oh yeah, it's just a weird El Vibrato thing you found in the woods when you were six. The thing has been here the whole the whole time. Huh. Uh, military coffee maker. Insert battery. You insert the battery to the model to the spring slate. Everything goes blue for a second. Oh, this is the is this the coffee? He 
you already said that yeah yesterday rose i think it was yesterday day before or something like that you actually get coffee from the coffee maker where's the coffee maker Someone said it wasn't me, okay. Hmm. Well, anyways, uh, let's go look at some of these other places where uh, our buddy, I can't remember what her, Susie. Susie, was it? I don't know, remember her name now. However, Bardo chats Bardo leads you towards a small cave. You park his fix outside and step in to investigate. In the back of the cave, there's one of those big monoliths. It's dark, inactive, not turned on. Power it up. It's in the battery and the monolith springs to life. Everything goes blue for a second. You learned the Elver Bardo word for education. Nice. Hey, Pterodactyl, how's it going? So this, is it the last stand or the last custard? It could be both, I suppose. Want some? Nah, I ain't a fan. Too squishy. Hi. Well, howdy there. Welcome to the last custard stand. I'm I'm Custard Man Stan. And I make custard like only Custard Man Stan can. Care to try some? Tell me about your custard stand, Custard Man Stan. Not much to tell. Just a plain honest custard stand selling plain honest custard. But it's the last one? Uh, like the last one before you get to Frisco or last one in the whole territory heck the last one in the whole world as far as I know but I can't swear to that I think this girl's custard nah I don't think so oh now I remember where I saw that rose it was on tumblr or at least a screenshot on the tumblr post I haven't. I oh, haven't slept for a bit, so we'll probably fall asleep at some point. Hopefully, anyways. Well, if you need to just stay silent here and just slowly drift off, just slowly drift off, feel free to do so. No one's gonna blame you for it. <laughs> Are you sure it isn't the first? Yep, because the first one was also mine. It was a little far up, farther up north. Whole dang operation was ate by wasps, stand and all. Give me them sweet custards. Ew, raisin custard. Okay, so this was a bust. I guess Olive Garden's homestead. Still from Temple, yeah, I also haven't actually been the janitor that keeps winning, yeah. Your booze sense tingles. Your spurs fix towards the source of the disturbance in the liquor sphere. And find a still a little still hidden in the pines. Let's stop and check it out. There's a jar of moonshine on this spout. Take it. I got jar of moonshine. Hell yeah. Made from real moon. <laughs> How are you doing? I am. I'd be lying if I said I was okay. I'm just real, real, royally fucking pissed. Because remember, said I, I had a, I got a job coming up. Well, the employment agents and I posted about this on my Discord. The employment agency told me I had the job, but then they contacted the actual business, and the business said, "Oh yeah, no, we can't take him on." 
Like, what? Why would you fucking tell me that I had a job if I didn't have a fucking job? Seriously? Not gonna lie, my favorite thing in this game is a snake oiler perk called Big Spleen. All it does is add three more alcoholic drinks you can consume. Hell yeah. That makes sense. Exactly. Why, why, why would you tell someone they have a job and then not give them the job? That's such a fucking dick ass thing to do. Then the reason they said they weren't taking anybody is because apparently they don't have enough supervisors. Like, why would you, why would you, uh, like, ask for jobs then if you don't have the supervisors to fucking fill it out? I'll go sort them out. If you really want to, sure. Oh, this is nice. Ma tried to go to crack this card, but got fed up with pricking her fingers all the time. Probably shouldn't go traipsing through this woman's garden without getting permission. Howdy, howdy, stranger. Name's Final. Howdy, Final. I'm Olive. Olive Garden. Nice garden you got there, Olive. Why, thanks. Looks delicious. Oh, I don't grow them to eat. I just grow them to grow them. In fact, if you got the know-how, you're welcome to harvest anything you'd like. Thanks. Sure thing, hun. Why, well, I'm always happy to meet a fellow, another cactus aficionado. Uh, did you know there's more than 2,000 different breeds of cactus? All, all different shapes and sizes and all different colors of flowers, too. I'll be. Olive Garden? Exactly. This is Olive Garden's homestead. Does she sell breadsticks? I'll figure it out. Hello, Sphix. How's it going? I can't... Then I guess I could s sleep on my way. I can't type a bit. No dying in my chat. That's, that's an order. Interrogator for the bread six final. I'll look at it. Also, oh, hi, Saya. How's it going? Let's fix. Hell yeah. I can't believe I revived a pterodactyl. Wait, fuck. I dabbed in real life. Nobody, was, nobody would have seen that. Fuck. Still waiting for Twitch to approve my emote. Which one? You know, if you know what sort of cactus to look for, they'll help you survive in the desert for quite a while too. They collect and store a lot of drinkable water and several varieties of bare edible fruit. That's fascinating. Okay. They got like a really comfy emote. Nice! And even, and that's even before we get into their medical uses. Did you know if you sterilize cactus spines over hot coals, you can use them for sutures? Well, you have to be careful because there's a couple of breeds whose spines are actually venomous. Did you know that the saguaro cactuses, the one, the tall ones with all the arms? You probably a picture when you think about cactuses. They only live to be 160, wow, 160 or 170 years old. Sometimes as old as 200 years. Heck, they aren't even considered adults until they're 125. That's... That's actually... I never knew that. That's actually quite impressive. Cactuses that live to be 160 to 170 years old. What about using fire or lightning magic under any extreme, kind of extreme emotion? Don't. There's a lot of saguaros around here. You gotta sauce a picture one of these days. I've never actually seen one in real life. I probably think I'm silly, but I kind of think of these ca cactuses as pets. They're like my big green prickly children. They're a lot, of, they're a lot easier to take care of, obviously. People probably think of me as that weird cactus lady that lives outside of town. But it doesn't matter to me as long as I got my needle babies. Next time I see one, I'll send you one or something. Thank you. We only got Arucarius. What does that look like? If you like cactuses so much, why don't you marry one? Finally, you are not definitely not the first person that suggested that. 
And I'll tell you what, I would up, I would absolutely positively marry a character so I can find one that wanted to marry me. <gasps> Did we find a love for Cactus Bob? Cactus Bill? This teacher has one that seems to be dying. I always wonder how people could kill a cactus. I don't know if there's one on the nearby mountain. Ironically. <laughs> right, we're going all the way to dirt water. Let's see if we can get uh, Cactus Bob or Bill uh, uh, a love. A few hundred yards up the trail, you see a solitary skeleton trudging towards the northwest. Doesn't seem to have noticed you or anything else really. Ladled. You won. Hey, skeleton, sucks to be you. You can actually kill them by overwatering them. Okay. And not enough sun, that makes sense. Ah, oh, thank you. Cactus soup. I've never had cactus soup. Howdy, Bill. Howdy. Say, I don't reckon you found me a cactus lady yet. I have found just the gal for you, Bill. Do you mean it, Final? I sure do. She's a cactus-loving lady by the name of Olive Garden. And she's a real peach. You have cactus Bill directions out to Olive's ranch, and he, and he hitches a ride on the very next pass passing stagecoach. Godspeed, Cactus Bill. Thanks so much for the raid. Not too far up north, I've ever seen an actual real cactus. I feel I have not had a prickly pear fruit. Hey, Prisix, how's it going? What game were you playing? Spix, can you saw us some a uh, shout out? Cloud, interesting. Actually, got it right. Thank you, Sphinx. <laughs> how goes the stream? Finally, it goes good. How was how was uh, your time? How, how were you playing? How 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 were you playing? How 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 was how was your stream? Oh boy, wandering Sally. Get up a prickly pear and actually, if it doesn't taste so bad, you get a fruit. I, I I've heard about that. I've I've never actually tried one. I really want to. It was great. I had a good time. I just ran out of time today, unfortunately. Ah. Uh, well, hopefully, hopefully next time you'll get a little bit more uh, time to have fun with. What's east of Lothing? We don't talk about the east. How's it going, Gumbo? How was your stream too, Gumbo? Gotta do a bunch of other stuff that I'm not necessarily feeling super. Oh, hopefully uh, you'll feel better soon. Sorry that you're not feeling too good.
Next stream we're gonna be like a child fell to the death. Hell yeah. Final Rock put up a good question of pipe server. Who here would Gumbo be better to fit better fit to mod? Like as in Gumbo be a mod for or Gumbo take as a mod? Also, I realized why this was censored. It's ass. So it's brass censor. Like, I don't know why that took me so long. Who would, Gum who would Gumbo be better than to mod your channel? I don't think Gumbo is necessarily a bad person. I, I know people shit on them a lot. Yeah, like, uh, as, uh, exactly as Rakshi has said. Like, I don't get why... Uh, Gumbo may be a little bit of a troll, but I don't think they're, like, in that necessarily, like... I think they get unnecessarily shat on too much. You know what I mean? Rex's question first to be fair. Yeah, but he brought it up in pipe server. You brought it up here. takes care of more than two cats, keep that in mind. Kept falling asleep in class, I'm sleeping decent hours, I don't know why. Could be boredom. I gotta find more of those things. The the things that raise AP. I think I'm just lowering sugar in the morning. I keep skipping. Okay, don't skip breakfast. You're growing. You shouldn't do that to yourself. Middle of the woods is not where you'd expect to find a goblin with a big pompadour haircut, wearing a spangly sequined suit and cape, and doing a dance that involves a lot of pelvis thrusts and butt wiggling. But yeah, that's what you found. Um, hello? Why, hello there. Glad to meet you. Uh huh. -huh. I don't know what's real anymore. <laughs> Finally, I have to leave at 710. Okay. I know, I know you have to leave at 7.10, but I'm just saying, like, prepare, like, pre find something that you can easily just quickly grab in the morning, like a granola bar or fruit bar kind of thing. I imitate your favorite stream of Pipetron. Is this 
this the right one? Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're playing West of Salem. Let's begin. I made the fucking joke too many times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so fucking I'm so sorry. Uh I feel I feel bad for making jokes about him, but it, I hope he knows it's all, all all in good fun and love. <laughs> Take a shot of water every time. Yeah, a water, please. I don't want you guys to get drunk. Ugh. I'm <laughs> banning you from his server, rightfully so. Maybe not hearing of me? Being Galvis. Big time goblin entertaining her. Entertaining her. Flipped and sent to your parents and wife's parents. Something. Uh, pleasure to meeting you. What 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 you two doing? Singing. Out here in a forest for a practicing. Hearing a song to wanting? Sure. The goblin sings a very rowdy honky tonk style song that you can't follow very well, but it seems to be about either a jail or a hotel, and either some shoes or a dog. <laughs> uh fucking references. Hmm. Think you having a thing here. I thanking ya. I thanking ya very much. Might suggesting some changes for human audiences. You give uh, Galva some advice for adjusting their act for humans. Mostly to admit all the pelvic thrusting, which the world probably won't be ready for for another 60 to 70 years. As thanks, they give you a pair of spare uh, of their rhinestone boots. Ooh, with nine mysticality. Aw, they look happy together. I... I've already got my emotes if I ever become affiliate. Nice. Fa flashy boobs, I promise I'm sober. What the fuck are you going on about? Hey, Abel, I see you found the place. I found the love of my life, and it's all thanks to you, Final. Yes, thank you. It was love of first sight. We got married right away. Well, I'm glad to have helped someone find ha have somewhat. Well, I'm glad to have helped someone find happiness in this desolate wasteland. Good luck to you both. We're still figuring out this whole hugging thing. Why don't I find some puncture-proof overalls somewhere? Maybe I should shave. Oh, but those spines are important to protect and shade your skin. We can kiss as long as we're careful. I wonder what our children look like. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, bye. Remember, guys. Cactus fuck. Oh, the Alamo Rintamil. I gotta do that too. The ghostly shrieking moo, a cow skull wreathed in its own personal blizzard of freezing wind and shards of ice, swoops towards you. As much as it's possible to uh, ascribe an emotional state to it, you guess that the motion is to be a upset?
you need more coke, yeah. Also, I had, I had an idea to fix. If you're suffering from a bit of a sugar low, uh, to, I guess to put it as best, in the mornings, try try taking like a, a ginger ale with you to school. Ginger ale is good for the stomach, too. Cack. <laughs> it's cack, boink. How's it going? Oh, pretty typical. By which I mean horrible. My shins are acting up and my eyebrows are on the fritz. And you wouldn't believe the amount of paperwork I've got to do, but of course the pencil sharpener is broken. So I have to sharpen my pencil with a hand with a nail file, and I got a scorpion in my coffee, and I even drank half of it. Did you find my daughter's bracelet yet? Yes, I found it. Well, thanks a bundle. It's a real tragedy that there's so few, few selfless and kind-hearted people like you in the world. I'm willing to do a hugely dangerous favor for a total stranger without any expectation of a word. Reward. Yes, sure. I just thought of something so cursed. You gotta say it, Sai. I'm gonna fucking save these fucking roads. Don't let. Don't. Yeah, he, keep keep it high up. I like to rent a mule. Uh, yeah, I think we already had this conversation. Here's your contract slash certificate of title. This 40-page document spells out the terms and conditions of what. What seems like it should be a fairly straightforward mule rental. Uh, thanks, I guess. Can I have uh, to mule? Can you have? Uh, can you have to mule delivered to Fort Unnecessary to the South? No problem. And thanks for choosing Alamo Rent to Mule. Uh, please remember us for all your meat. I just realized what, what Al. Okay. It's it's supposed to be like the the car rental company. I I fucking get it finally. You spot a distinct lack of mining activity in the distance and ride over closer to investigate. Yep, sure enough, nobody's mining over here. Keep it high up of this horse and I also just use the ladder. Keep where I'm going for now. Oh, what the fuck? I okay. You know what? Let's. How did they call me Rabbit Bullock? So yeah, they can run me well. Give me the Elmo contract. Yep, here's your contract. They said they'll send the mule directly to to pick you up. I'll also load off a whole assortment off my lips. Thanks, friend. He takes the contract and slowly moseys outside to wait for his mule. Hey, wait, you owe me fi uh, 50. Okay. I was left. Private bow tie still can't tie a bow tie. Private tillery still can't figure out the cannonball goes in last. Little 30 wood. $31 off of Prince of Darkness? Like, is that a game? Speedy thing go in, speedy thing go out. Alright. Howdy, what's apps? I'm supposed to be a cannon here, but I'm terrible at loading cannons. They always explode, except not the way they're supposed to explode. Or they don't explode at all. Huh. The only the only time I've ever got one to fire, the cannibal knocked my sergeant's hat off, and he was standing behind me. Still can't figure out how that happened. So they sent me to this loser squad, I can't re uh, report back uh, for proper duty until I figure out how to load a cannon right. Cannon loading for idiots. Here, maybe this will help. Huh? Well, let's see. 
He flips to the pages, which have big numbered diagrams. Oh, you take the stick back out before you pull the cannonball in. Well, it certainly sounds easier. He carefully follows along the direction of the book, and successfully fires the cannonball over the wall of the fort. I did it! Wow, great! Thanks a lot! I'm going to get my new assignment right away. No goblins, yeah. I'm talking about Bloons 2D... Oh, TD6, I see, okay. I, I actually just got uh, uh, Priest Adora. Howdy, what's wrong? Ah, oh, gee willikers. Oh, yeah, this is the guy that... Okay, here, grab the two ends like this. You want, to, want this side out a little shorter, and then it crosses over the top, and then under and up. While the other side goes, it does a bit of a sort of zigzag, see? And when you bring the upper bit straight down and back around, and it folds under there, and then you pull them tight, got it. I think so, let me try it. See if you go back and forth a few times until he gets it right without poking himself in the eye. I think I got it, thanks a lot. Wait till I show the general. Runs in the building, uh, waving a bow tie in the air. Thank you for the blaster check. Man, I, I actually got, like, very, very close to defeating the uh, BTD6 boss. The, the new one, Lich. Like, me, me and, like, three others, we had it down to, like, the last little section of health. And then it just sent out, like, three different Moabs right at the end that were all chained and couldn't be attacked. But at least, like, this one's more possible than the frickin' uh, last one, Lunarius. Great job, that's everyone dealt with and out of here. And that means I'm finally out of this hellhole, too. If we ever cross paths again, I really owe you one. Captain Davenport frisbees your crypt lord, snaps you salute, and marches out of the fort. I guess I can get. I can't loot things? Climb up into the watchtower and take a look around. Use your binoculars. Scan the horizon, but don't see anything you didn't already know. Fuck. I was hoping there would be more. Time to figure out what this shit does. Lich's gimmick is that buffs or micro don't work against it. Well, that might have... As well as it might against Planarius. But the problem is, is that, like... At least dealing with, uh... Lich is easier because it's it doesn't suit like 30 different ceramics that at that point you were not prepared to, to, to fight have you ever seen I had not key shaped elver El vibrato device hums as you approach the floating window and peer through through you see a busy city street metal vehicles you can't identify move past at unimaginable speeds Though the window is thankfully far, far from the road they travel. Every 15 seconds or so, a strange metal and glass rectangle, about 6 inches by 3 inches, falls past the view of the window and you can hear a man's voice shouting, Crap! Grab the net rectangle next time it falls. You snatch the rectangle and the, the view for the window is replaced with static. Wow, that is a nice rectangle. You know what this little rectangle of glass and metal with the blinking lights and the strange sigils is? But you know having it makes you better than other people. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Much less health and over a less spammy phase, but exchange you lose lives very quickly. This is like you found an abandoned crate of, oh. Crates of supplies since it's just afforded necessary. Perhaps the shippers took that to heart. Oh, hell yeah, smelling like salts. Middle school, yeah, I know. Hi there, Dr. Morton. 
Why, Vinyl, did you find any interesting rocks for me? I did, in fact. Uh, well, now this is quite a nice chunk of Golemite. Where did you find it? A big rock monster attacked some railroad guys I was hopping out. Like a huge man-shaped boulder pile. A really angry one. A full-on anthrop anthropomorphosite? Amazing, they're quite rare. Or seen living one in person. I suppose you were forced to destroy it, though. Well, yeah, it was violent that there were a lot of people around. Sorry. It's a shame, but that's the usual outcome. No worries. Anything else you need? This school just doesn't exist here at all. I noticed that with a lot of places. In in Canada, it only exists in... Oh, uh, it doesn't exist in BC and Ontario, so... Sorry, I say BC, it means British Columbia for the non-Canadians. Non uh, yes, actually, I found an interesting hexatite note in a cave nearby, but I couldn't shift the thing. You ruined yourself the resourceful type. You think you could collect it for me? Sure thing, Dr. Morton. Oh, no need to stare, stand on ceremony. Call me Josie. Sure, sure thing, Josie. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad we... Uh, uh, made friends with her. Leaving of your Alvar Brado transporter leads, leads you to a hulking robot, standing motionlessly out in a desert with a vulture perched on it. The vulture flaps away quickly when the robot lights up and starts moving towards you. What age is he? Is he even middle school? Uh, it's from where, from my experience, it's grades uh, seven to nine. on the right side. That's rare. His previous visitor left their gear behind. I got Sass Parpar Sass Parpar Rail Cats like candy. Less of a pain to take care of cats and puppies because cats sleep 18 hours a day. Yes and no. A weird floating rock. This is almost certainly the rock Dr. Morton wants. Why can't school be fucking universal, fuck's sake? Couldn't fucking tell ya. I, I really wish it was, too. U.S. has kindergarten, 1 to 6, which is middle school, 7 to 8, which is junior high, 9 to 12, which is high school. Let's see. I, was, I guess middle school and junior high are kind of interchangeable up here. Because it goes elementary school, which is kindergarten to 6, junior high, which is 7 to 8, or 7 to 9, and high school, which is... Uh, 10 to 12. What the fuck is a grade that called the years in the real world? No. Why don't we use both juice? I know, but I'm, I'm saying up, up here it's interchangeable. In Canada. Sorry, I didn't. Rock darts and reeves about. You need to take a sample from it, but you're not sure what the best approach is. You grab the rock in, well, not a chokehold, and, um, not a half Nelson. Let's just say you wrestle it to the ground and extract a slice of it. Weird, weird rock sample. A hexagonal slab of rock you separated from a different hexagonal slab of rock. Oh, and both of them are weightless in addition to being hexagonal. What more important than the ejector now that I think about it? Oh, I'm just getting hit by nearby rocks. <laughs> I don't know why that's so entertaining to me.
Maybe show the weird world. That's she sent me here. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I just talked to her. Catch a glimpse of something colorful out in the corner of your eye and pop down to investigate it. Before you know it, you're mesmerized. Oh, it's a fucking rainbow snakes again. Yeah, Rose, the like button's white. Good try, though, and thank you. Actually, just on the topic of YouTube, I just dumped a bunch of videos today. Be those stupid hippie snakes into the earth they love so much. Hey, uh, Josie. Hi, Final. Any luck getting the rock sample from that old cave? Yep. Ah, that's a beauty. Set it over there on my workbench. She carefully examines the stone through a crystal lens while tapping on it with a little engraved silver hammer. Yep, this is the stuff I'm looking for. If my readings of the resonance frequencies are correct, I'm sitting right on top of a prime, prime vein of research material. Or rather, the very similar looking hexatite boulder outside my house. Hey. V very neat. Just one little problem, which is that... The, the second-hand drilling rig I bought doesn't come with any actual drill bits. Ah, oh, jeez, isn't that always the way? It's pretty much my experience, yeah. Can't you buy one somewhere? Or I could mail one order, mail over one, sure, but then I'd have to wait a couple months before it's arrived, or I could have an advent adventurous acquaintance of mine check out an abandoned mining west of here. So you think it's scavenge one for me? Yeah, that sounds like a much better plan. Who's your acquaintance? Oh, wait, haha, <laughs> it's me, isn't it? Haha, <laughs> yeah. I'm glad she actually likes me. No way some YouTube comment but wants me to repent. Then repent. <laughs> Wait, what? Combo, I need a, I need a I need a picture of this. Leaving of your Alvo Battle Transporter leads. Okay, we were even. I'm so fucking OP. <laughs> no chance people use light mode. I don't think I do. I can't remember if I do. This dry washer is caked in dirt. Wash and dry it. <laughs> Mind splitting. Scrub the machine down, it doesn't look any better afterwards, but you do find some ore witch in the crannies here and there. Hell yeah. There's a shiny thing in here. Take it. Strange silvery crystal. Crystal and silver in the sense that it's silver colored, but not silver in the sense that it's not made of silver. Hey Soldier, how's it going? Thank you for the posture check. Those years of, oh, oh, that's <laughs> that's that, that's good. This elevator has a lot of stuff wrong with it. Progressive maintenance. Final. I'm. 
I'm a little bit better, but I was, like, very, very angry earlier, just because of some life situations that have happened. Uh, I, 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 I got confirmation that I got a job earlier this week. Uh, and I, and I got everything for it. I got my third booster shot, I got, uh, I got some new steel toed boots, and then today I got a call, because I, I, the, the, the employment company that does the hiring said, oh yeah, well, you, now you have a confirmed job. And so the, uh, the actual company basically contacted them and said, oh yeah, we can't take them. Like, why would you tell me I have a fucking job? If I, if I, if I don't, if I don't actually have the fucking job. Fuck, it make me do all the stuff, spend money on stuff I don't actually need anymore. This mine isn't great, but this cabinet's a big plus. Uh, more smelling salts. Actual BS? Exactly. Why would you fucking tell someone like that? This version has long, long since rust away to uselessness. Long since rust away to uselessness. This car was then in a hurry. Yes. Delicate. Alright, hell yeah. Pointiest part of the mission. High tech drill. Nice. A rock hammer. Sunny hammer is more about precision than impact. It's more about knowledge than precision. Interesting. Can of oil. This is this is a lubricant or a lubricant in both in, both in a sense because it's a can of lubricant. Self-containing an effectively infinite amount of stars per like, What have got funny? Oh wow! The note says, "Dear Jeff, got called up north to deepest delve. See you soon. Please praise be Roberto sincerely, Jeff." The Alvaro transponder goes crazy when you get near these rocks. Oh. Hell yeah. West Central Storage, Pucha's Eve. Amera can, but Amera shouldn't. <laughs> anyway, Sawyer, how, uh, how have you been doing as of late, my dude? Sasa Parisla. Actually, said that when I first tried it. Well, ha <laughs> ha. Bunch of paper card. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, I got more words. Cylinder and more words. Nice. This is a very nice mine. Hey, Josie. Hello, find that replacement pit yet? I sure have. Hey, that's great. A little bit of surface rust, but if my calculations are right, this is you just fine for our purposes. Come on, let's go hook it up right now. She excitedly runs out of the house. Oh, wow, she didn't really waste, really didn't waste any time. You should try to finish the El Vibrato subquest today. You really easily could. I mean, yeah. I really want to, but I'm not exactly sure what the hell I'm doing. Find at least toward the tunnel and Josie just opened. Ooh. Oh, what the fuck is that? That's creepy as hell. 
Dr. Morton seems exce extremely excited to be here. That was crazy fast, Josie. Jeez, you've got lights set up here and out already and everything. While you were out running errands for me, I didn't have much to do except plan this out. Having to fight an anthrop anthropomorphosite it was not part of my plan, though. Oh, uh, what now? The angry stone fellow over there. Boy, what I wouldn't give be a give to be able to examine one up close. Unfortunately, getting mashed into a pulp would probably hurt my chances of getting tenure. Let's see what I can do. You know how earlier you got the East or West Roberto placement containment place? Yeah, I... Yeah, I just need... I just gotta figure out the other. I don't know where, where it would be, though. This thing is bristling with arcane power. Touch it. Oh, uh, what? This tunnel is conveniently 80% as tunnels. Oh, fuck. Oh, this looks dangerous. 50, 50 in speed. How much speed do I have? Oh, I only have 10. Can I see your map? Uh, once, once I'm done this. And then you go to the deepest stuff, mine, and you got the story done. Okay, okay. I appreciate the help with this. And thank you for not being like too spoilerish. those hexes. Fuck. This thing is bristling with the same arcane power as the first one you messed with. Touch it. Nothing happens. Oh, what? Whoa. Wow, that's an extremely interesting rock. Isn't it incredible? This will definitely go and get me into the history books, or at least get my research paper into an important archaeology journal. Arcanogeology journal. Thank you so much for your help. Ah, uh, it was nothing. I'll be giving you an assistant credit when I publish, of course. I'd like to give you more material war, but I spent most of my money my grant money money most of the grant money on the drilling work. How about this? I don't need this hexite sample anymore. Maybe you can wear it as a hat. Is there anywhere specifically you need to see? Wander near the Curious Mountain area. Curious Falls Mountain here? I'll, I'll do that after I'm done here. I wanna go touch this thing. This is close enough, but that thing looks dangerous. It's weird how it's pulsing like that. <laughs> you can't see me. Trying to check and see if there's anything else. How's it going with your big magic rock, Juicy? Pretty great. Check how hexagonal and floaty it is. I know, right? Thanks for all your help. I've got years of study ahead of me down here. Thank you. Have fun. 
outside squeeze and wriggle through it. Oh wow. I see it. Okay, so let's go to the bank. Wait, no. So good at this. Is there a pattern I'm supposed to be doing with these? Like it looks like my guy my, my guy stops like right here, so there should be something there. Oh, there we go, I just got it. There's something shiny in this hole. I got a polished diary. Three thousand meat. Wow. I just big brained that hole. All right. So we go to Curious Falls Mountain. And water. Transponder beeps indicating a spot to the west of Fury riding now. Spurs fix in, the, in that direction encounter a large hexagonal monolith of El Vibrato material. You get 11,000 meat from doing the quest. Holy shit. That's, that is a lot of shmeat. You can't beat that meat. <laughs> I'm guessing it's a, this is what it is because it's curious. I'd keep going, but I'm not, I'm not animated for climbing. Oh, that's so sad. What's with these weird blocks? Good question. Looks like some kind of ancient road or something. Runs for far, runs north far as, as I can see. Real mystery, real gets real white too. Is indeed a mystery. Let's have a look. This ladder is missing about 70% of its rungs. It's so dangerous. Call Osha. <laughs> Climb down. Oof, this explorer didn't make it down the ladder in one piece. Oof. Elvibrato scraps, rod, and punch card. Actually, before I go any further with this thing, I probably should... There's open grave here, which is a little weird. Maybe uh, they forgot to bring the body and I had to go back for it. 
Man, I bet that would be really embarrassing. Let's see what you find. Rape dirt, bur burial whiskey, and old wedding ring. Education, Pooch's Eve. <laughs> uh, you enter the cart into the slot. The machine screen springs to into a frenzy activity. You can't consciously make much sense of what you're watching, but when you're done, it's, o it's over. You know things you didn't know before. You have n nothing else to learn from that kind of card. Okay. The beacon and teleporter. Quick gate, antipsychotic, facilitary, extraterrestrial, toggle, insufficient, over the next cell makes you pause. It sounded like kind of like a gunshot, but less bang and more pee-ow. Uh, you creep up to the spot cautiously and find a goblin filling with a large pistol with magical sigils engraved all over it. The goblin seems to be adjusting one of the sigils with a small engraving chisel. Hello? What do we? To adjusting new pistol and make it. Making yourself. You're pretty good if self, if can't self-saying. I'm getting so used to speaking fucking goblin. Almost done with L vibrate. <laughs> yes, also selling uh, for selling 600 meats. Has to examine the pistol. Am knowing magics. Can look at pistol. Okay. The sigils are pretty well designed, but you do spot a couple of places where they could be improved upon. You explain the fixes to the goblin who seems impressed. Very good, thanks. We'll give you the discount. Show up on the pistol. Plus 15 spell damage. Ooh. Goblin gave one more sigil on the gun before giving it to you, but you think maybe it's just their initials. You really should hide more things behind things. Model the star. The battery into the mouth and springs to life. Everything goes blue for a second. I'm still getting more energized. How energized am I? Wow, that's a lot of energized. That's obviously very broken. Replace it. There we go. Primary terminal. Select secondary terminal. Weather adjustment terminal. Increased weather adjustment machine power. Primary terminal. Garbage terminal. Garbage return. Press the button and a huge pile of El Barbado scrap materializes behind you with a thud. Score. Primary terminal. Local power terminal. Local local power destination. Planetary orientation maintenance. Local, local power destination. Hey, 
Extraterrestrial Auditory Beacon, Roberto Containment, Municipal Sedative Pipeline, Local Power Terminal. I know I should do Roberto Containment, but I'm curious what the other ones are. Pipeline, don't fucking say it, Gumbo. Don't fucking say it. <laughs> Vibrato gizmo sticking out of the ground here. It's got a button on top. Push the button. And the machine makes a little pink sound abruptly out of nowhere. Cla oh, it's... Oh. <laughs> the others all have uses. Is that a reference to popular streamer boys noggin? Fuck's sake. Uh, well, listen, I ain't no weather expert, but I know enough to tell you when it's gonna rain, and that was not on the schedule for today. All I did was push a button on this gadget I found. Didn't your ma ever teach you not to push strange buttons you find in the middle of nowhere? Well, no. Okay, but now I want to I want to see what the other one looks like. Uh, look power select like power destination. Oh wait, no, it's, that's that's for a different. Thing. What the fuck? I'm tired. It's only 11 p.m. That's probably why. It's getting later later at night. Fully ever gonna rain stops. The clouds the clouds quickly disperse. Interesting. Okay. Let's go fix. We are going to False Mountain. Was it? That's a skeleton with her hat pulled down to conceal her face. Hiking northward with a walking stick and a large backpack. Morning? Ah, a skeleton. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's, it's actually a friendly skeleton. This is cringe how to go back to no life. I don't know. It was deepest stealth mine? Okay, okay. Apologize. Uh. I kind of expect skeletons to be mindlessly aggressive. And isn't that, is that, does, and that doesn't strike you as a bit racist. Uh, well, I nah, sorry, it's not exactly your fault that you don't know how any that you don't know any better. Ever since that damn necromancer got elected, he's been doing nothing but giving skeletons a bad reputation. Elected? Yeah, he started raising all these new skeletons and set them loose to rampage around. And of course, natural-born skeletons like yours truly get slumped in right with them. Makes me sick. Natural-born. Anyway, I'm getting out of here while well, the getting's good. Moving to Canada. Say, you didn't vote for that jerk, did you? Heck no, I hate that guy. Right, right on. Here, I have one of these buttons I made. Necromancer's I hate him button. <laughs> this button that probably proclaims your antagonism towards a mag maniacal wizard whose evil plan is to raise an army of corpses and take over the world. It's apparently an unpopular opinion in some circles. <laughs> well then. Always, I got a lot of walking ahead of me. So long, stranger. Bye. And water and Sally. Let's see what she's got. Nothing. Sorry, Sally, not today. You see wisps of smoke riding out of the pines nearby. It's first six over toward over to investigate. The source is a little shop nestled deep in the forest. Almost as though the proprietor doesn't want customers to find it. You try the location down on your map so you don't forget where it is. The command says, no it's not. Hello Mr. Green Man, hello Cyberthu, how is it going? Become president of the universe, oh, ne make necromancy legal. I question you guys. No, oh, that's not where I want to go. Uh, book four.
West Roto Containment Power Online. East Roberto containment power offline. Positronic resonator detected. The east one's offline now. What the, what the fuck? good now. So this is this is the, the final final thing about the Alvibrado. All of a sudden you're being attacked by vaguely cow shaped uh, ice sculptures, so rough that it could believably have been carved by cows themselves. It's a real surprise because that isn't clear how that thing can move under its own power. Uh, yeah. The way you destroy that iceberg, you c c they should call you global warming. Alright, so now we go to level 4. Like everything's set to go now. West Roberto containment power online. East Roberto containment power online. Positronic resonator detected. Initialize Roberto containment system. What the fuck just happened? That definitely wasn't here before. Take the crown. Wanna hear some high school drama? Sure. Ooh, what is this? Yep. <laughs> it's so fucking big. What was, what was, the, what was the other thing I had? Six musicality, seven, 11 spell damage? I, I have a lot of spell damage. What the fuck just happened? You should have just gotten an achievement just now, no? Yes, I did. Oh! Hey, Uni, how's it going? How was that? I'm gonna look at the description of the achievement for explanation. Contain Roberto, that's all it says. So how do I, is there a way to look at Roberto? That's the Elf Vibrato. I might as well report back to the professor to see. Found my perfect streaming game? Nice!
Alright, so I'm just gonna read whatever you said, Sphix. Our new friend has a little sis two years below us. She accidentally walked in on some of her classmates smoking weed in school grounds. She was questioned. And obviously ratted them out because she's done nothing wrong. And then at lunch they were looking for her, so we had to step in and make sure she was safe. Craziest thing in a while. Well, I'm glad you actually stood in and uh, <coughs> defended her, at least. So good on you, Sphinx, for defending her. <coughs> Thank you. Look at good game to stream. I can do it more often now. Hell yeah. And I'm glad that she at least took the, the gumption, because it's, if that's not allowed, things shouldn't be allowed. Unless, the, I understand doing weed for, like, medical purposes, but doing it in a place where people could have, like, allergies to that kind of shit, and in a very public area. It's so fucking dumb. I don't know why people do that. The cons you give Norton in a future playthrough is the one you're wearing now. Well, it's mine. Mine all mine. Of a broad grenade is 25 to all enemies. Holy crap. I want three medical drones, too. Great idea, but I'm too lazy to do it myself. What's your idea? Alright, so where's, where's Susie? What do you think we should do next? Any other ideas? Guy in the petting cemetery is looking for a buffalo skeleton that you said you'd help. Find enough bones in the buffalo pile. Alright. Alright, so just buffalo pile then. You get the OKH emote and slap it on a weed PNG. I would have called it like blunch or something like that. Make it funnier sounding. Watch the reaction. Well, like besides what's left in the beaker is, unsurprisingly, after the reaction concludes, you're left with a big beaker full of milk. And you don't like milk very much. Uh, so you pour it down the floor and discard the beaker. That was really good. Like, really? That's all there was? That was probably already an emote of Pedge smoking a blunt. Okay. Grab a buffalo this word. He calls the list of the guy at the petting center time we gave you when you grab a buffalo's. Please have it. supposed to do with this reanimating fluid then? I, uh, wait, where the hell did it go? You probably have the real one in inventory or you fucked something up. No, I, 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 I have the buffalo reanimating fluid, like right here. I'm just trying to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to use to put on it. 
Tony's one of the whispering, but it's eerily louder than most of your stones you're hearing. Weird Rock is listening, whispering up a storm. It's in some weird dialect you can barely understand, though. When it shows the thick accent, it's more closely. Oh, what the fuck is that thing? Listen more closely. Listen carefully to the stone. Over the course of a few minutes, it whispers to resolve into compre comprehensible English. The stuff the storm is whispering turns out to be pretty boring. Mostly just trivia about the geology of Tennessee. Meaningless to you unless you're finding a small trips. Oh well, at least you can understand the accent now. Appalachian Skull Whisper. Okay. What a dope crib. Where is Buffalo Bill though? Buffalo Soldier Diagram, that might be... That might be beneficial. Consult the diagram and collect all the bones listed on it. Awesome. Alright, now we should be able to try this. Put the... Uh, top of the slab, there's a skeleton-shaped indentation with a buffalo skull-shaped indentation with a normal heat skull. Human skull shaped indentation to me. You lay the bones on the indentation. Unsure of what to do next, you start grabbing bottles and supplies from various shelves and drawers at random. We're working on the skeleton more or less at random. Some bone here, some artificial ligaments here, some horn polish, well, all the horns. That one was pretty obvious. And all you need is. The bottle says. The bottle at the top says pour reanimation fluid here. Pour the fluid into the funnel and watch as it travels down all the way to the spirally glass tubes and stuff onto the skeleton on the slab. After a few moments, the newly assembled buffalo soldier stirs to life. Greet it. Welcome to the world. Uh, what's your name? Buffalo. Your name's just Buffalo. That seems a mite uh, uncreative. Hey, let me finish. Let me finish. Sorry, go on. Buffalo, Buffalo. He pauses for uh, several seconds. Okay, pleased to meet you, Buffalo, Buffalo. But you still don't finish. All right, come on then. Buffalo, Buffalo, Buffalo. So your name is Three Buffaloes, Bill. Your name is Buff. Your name is Bill. My name is Buffalo, 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 Bill. Pay attention. So can you remember anything from before? I remember eating grass. Okay, that makes sense. Anything else? Shooting. Lots of shooting. And people cheering about the shooting? Seems you have combined memories of your buffalo and human parts. That sounds accurate. Hydrate, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it rose. Uh, memories of your buffalo and human parts. That sounds accurate. Well, what would you do next? I, I guess I'll just wander around and try to find a purpose. You can, you can travel with us. Well, sure, that sounds okay. Since you already killed the folks responsible for this place, I guess I wouldn't mind following you. Welcome aboard, Buffalo, Buffalo, Buffalo Bill. Holy crap, we actually get a third member? That's nutty. Buffalo, Buffalo, Buffalo Bill is actually really strong. Okay, okay. You hear several loud gunshots ring out as you round a, a cluster of boulders and you dive into a corner. Peeking cautiously around the corner, you discover a goblin shooting a large pistol at a pile of nailed together driftwood. Hello? Oh, hello. Uh, sorry, I'm just checking them. What do in targets practicing? Nope, sculpting, look. Take another look. And apart from the right angle and the driftwood, it does kind of look like an owl. Albeit one that's uh, been shot a bunch of times with a pistol. 
help him with the sculpture. Teach the goblin a small wind spell to help him guide his bolts a little more accurately, and he gratefully gives you a handmade ring in exchange. That's not useful to me, but okay, thank you. Holy crap, it just auto fires right away. Sphinx best character, yeah. Alright. The spooky combination of hissing, chattering, and clanking, an ancient skeleton rises out of the sand in front of you. He's wearing dented and rusted antique armor and a long handlebar mustache. Must be, must be an ancient explorer or would-be conqueror. Hopefully the former, because he doesn't seem to have much good at the latter. How, is your, how does your mustache say on? Hiss. Do you use glue? Hiss. Give him a history lesson. I'm sorry to be the one who has to tell you this, but your side lost. Like, hundreds of years ago. Hiss? You give the skeleton a uh, history lesson, which seems to depress him. You give him directions to nearest port, and he treasures away, grumbling out to book a ticket home. Did... Did, did we just ruin a skeleton's life? Did we, sorry, death? Uh, fucking more snakes. That's like 18, 19, 30. Wow, that's actually pretty quite strong. Is there nothing out this way? A thin stream of smoke over the next hill indicates a nearby campfire. So you decide to check it out. It turns out instead to be a man strolling around nonchalantly. He's wearing a top hat, which is on fire. Hey, mister, your hat's on fire. Yes, I know. You don't seem particularly bothered by it. I don't think panicking would solve anything. I guess you have a point. So, what's your deal? My deal? Well, I'm an artist. There isn't much over there now? Okay. Well, I know that I have, a like, one or two th more things. I know I need to do the, uh... The cow quest still, so I might do that for next time, and that'll probably be the finale of of West of Loathing here. So we'll see. Uh, guess you have a point of sorts. So what's your deal? My deal? Well, I'm an artist. Ah, I see. So this is some kind of performance art thing. Hmm? Oh, you meant that? No, it's just a coincidence. I'm a painter. Mister, you might need to take you need to take the hat off. You'll roast your brain. Perhaps, but think how handy it'll be for reading at night. Explain how fire is bad for his head. Look, I'll put it this way. You're an artist, right? You depend on your eyes for your ability to create. Once your hat burns down far enough, your eyeballs are going to boil in their sockets. Uh, well, I would put a hamper on my painting. Of course, well, before that happens, your brain will roast. Starting with the uh, uh, parietal loads on top. Uh, which govern visual perception and object manipulation. Oh my, very well, you made your point. Here. Nice. You also need to do the necromancer story. What am I missing in the necromancer story? I know I need... Also, I found this strange silver crystal. It's an it's a, it's a substantial piece of infernal okay, cow. Destroy it. You throw the spirit on the ground and stop it until it dissipates completely. Oh, it's just an XP thing. Okay.
Where was the thing? The book should be relatively close near. Oh, there it is. Third tab, thank you. You open your necromancer journal and examine the information you've collected so far. The cryptic note uh, you found about Halcow Energy indicates the necromancer's lair is somewhere fairly close to Hellstrom Ranch. Your knowledge of mushrooms combined with the carelessness of the necromancer's mushroom gathering cultists allows you to narrow the down the location to a strip of land between the big canyon and the mountains between there and Dirtwood. You know, found a note with the magic word required to enter the tower once you found it. Abracadaver. So near Hellstrom Ranch. Strip of land between Big Canyon and mountains between there and dirt water. Where's Big Canyon? I'd assume it's somewhere here. You need all of the notes. Well, fuck, okay. Where am I? Oh, I, I, I haven't explored this place. All of a sudden you're being attacked by vaguely cow- Oh, it's a cow shape, basically. six of them. Oh boy, there's more than I thought. This blood splatter is disturbingly squirrel shaped. This barrel used to have pickles in it, now it just has nasty old pickle juice. Ah, uh, howdy. Name's Halloway. Hab Halloway. Sorry for the chitter and I ain't seen another person in a long time. That's not surprising, this place is pretty secluded. What do you do here? Mostly I sell pine cones to squirrels. Well, I used to. How about you something he had stored away in one of his cheeks? What happened to the squirrels? Well, one day they, they were here, and the next day they were bloodstains. I had the creepiest dream last night. I dreamt a uh, little girl with big, empty, white eyes jumped through my bedroom, and bedroom window and asked if I wanted to have a tea party. Oh fuck, did I just ruin this guy's life by playing with the one, one, I think, very early on into the story, I visited a, a, uh, one of the burnt farms, and there was like a, like a, a ghost doll or something like that. Did we just fuck up this guy's life? Yep, oh, now I feel bad. Let me see what you're selling. You, ever, you would never wear this, but maybe you'll find a child that needs help getting ready for a funeral. That's something like, that definitely sounds like something that would happen out west. I feel so bad. TKJ, how's it going? Alright, uh... Actually, let me try something. Let me go... here. Okay, so I can't use the binoculars there. It's going good. Awesome. 
still everything else. I'm not doing that shit. So I'm just trying to think of the places where there were cultists, necromantic cultists. I'm gonna try the military cemetery first. I'm surprised nothing had to do with the eternal flame yet. Okay. I don't think so. That's that. Damn, I only know about non necromancy cults. <laughs> like frog cults. to a goblin chef. You can, you can tell that they're a chef by their hat and their big fork. Well, I guess either that or they're a chef or they're being recently eaten a chef. Hello. Hey, hello, a human. Hey. Hello, a goblin. Looking for tuna. Seeing it? Tuna? This being the desert. New tuna here for miles. What are you seeing? Tuna is local delicacy. Tuna. You mean a, sw you meaning a fish? A swimming thing? Crazy human. A tuna isn't swimming. This is a desert. Where to it swimming? Well, yeah, that's my point. A tuna is a round is round and green with red knobs. Pokey spines having. Oh, some kind of cactus, like a prickly pear or something. Yes, duh. Alright, well, not seeing any tuna, but giving me big fork and I'll helping you look. Okay, anyway, I have any spares. Goblin gives you a tuna fork, and the two of you hunt around for a while until you find a stand of prickly pears, aka tunas. Turns out the fork is necessary because the tunas, tuna pricklers are tiny, barbed, and absolutely an absolute bastards. Okay. So I learned more about the game. It's gonna be like Doom. Which game? Tokyo? Oh, okay, I see, I see. I'm gonna go to sleep so I have the energy to bring my sleep back to normal tomorrow. Alright, take her, combo, and have good luck. Oh, fuck, right. Can't remember which of my 20 granddaughters was my favorite, please can help me. Uh, her first name ended in a vowel. Thirty-seven. First name was longer than her last. Then she was a bird next to any of my daughters. She passed at the same age as poor Becky, was always in such a ill health. Knitting. I really have no idea who I'm going to. Lenore, Lena Leilani, Linda, no, not Linda. Magdalene. Let's try Magdalene. Oh fuck, I just randomly guessed that. 
Granny's eyes brightened and she burst into tears, but happy ones this time. Yes, of course. How could I have forgotten? Poor sweet Magdalene. Oh, how I miss her. Granny drifts over to her tombstone and gently places a bouquet at its base. Both Granny and the flowers fade away into nothingness. That is, except this for a single flower that remains. That's actually really sad. 11 spell damage offhand, though. Fuck. Advancing has one upper door at the front. Inside the tombstone is document. Read the document. The document describes a tone ta or taunting very wishes of Chet Bustersley. Weird secrets of letters. B T L I T R. Tombstone vent. The president's serial lock. Pick the lock. Take the object. Looks like a key frag. Okay. Uh. Okay, so long. B T L I T R O H L H L G H E G H E How did I dump fuck that? Yeah. I described my life pretty hard. Safe cracker too. Let your set scope crack your knuckles and perform a compli complicated grave robbery. Take the object to another key frame. Okay. This one is O I E H T. Give me a second. Remember, if you're going to be wrong, be wrong in a confident way. I kind of have several problems with that, but whatever. Oh, hold on, it says, okay, uh, give me a second. B-O-O-T-H-I-L-L-E-I-G-H-T-H-T-R-E. -E. Boot Hill 8th Tree. Okay, I'm just going to copy and paste this to the chat. Basically, I just took all three of them and then went downwards from there. Uh, where am I now? Reboot Hill, okay. For <laughs> raid message? No. Onions are filled with spiders, trust me. What the fuck is going on with you? Assemble a key. Taunting key. Excuse me. The skeleton doesn't seem particularly threatening apart from being a general reminder of your own mortality. Oh yeah, I forgot about it. I help this guy. I am Tumbleweed. They hastily constructed very shallow privy. Investigate. Okay. Nothing here but three bedrolls of a single stale smell. Okay, hold on. So. One, two, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Strange, there's a keyhole in the trunk of this tree. Unlock it. The secret door opens to the side of the tree. There's a treasure chest inside. The chest contains a lone but extremely large gemstone and a document describing a tone team. She apparently won despite not even signing up for it. Oh. 2,000 meat. <laughs> it just says lol. <laughs> Gotta figure out what this crystal is. I don't want to sell it just in case it's valuable or something. Pass by a pile of old bones. When you just when you stop to examine them, they assemble into a skeleton. Just a regular little skeleton with nothing special about it except for the fact that it's attacking you. Now that I think about it, it's not even that particularly special. Jeez, what a humdrum encounter. Skeleton the pile of bones from whence it came. <laughs> oh shit, what's this? The key shape all my brother device goes nuts when you hear you can hear this thing. What the fuck? Camp Crystal Dream. This <laughs> is a strange conveyance as a sign reading bitchin' at the back. <laughs> On the seat, you find a gun and... you think. New fangled pistol. Finally something you recognize, though you've never seen a sunk stagecoach before. No survivors, but some, some left a really nice hat behind. Ten melee, ten spell, ten pistol attack damage. Wow. It's a strange metal man. What's he holding? It's a ring. Or at least it's a ring-shaped object. As much as the glowing ring is a made ring out of glow? It's almost insubstantial, but the energy it contains is undeniably palpable. So don't try to deny it. What have I found? You approach the sarcophagus. The top has long since crumbled to dust and it's empty. Wait! No, it isn't empty. There's a jawbone on a very small pillow. Inspect it. You bend down for a closer look and hear a faint whisper. I beg your pardon. I'm sorry? You still can't hear it. Pick it up. It seems kind of rude, but so is leaving without hearing what it has to say. Pick up the bone and hold it up to your ear. Come on, please speak up. Stick it in your ear. You jam the jawbone as far as you can, as far into your as far into your ear as you can. Stick your finger in your other ear. Jam your finger into your other ear. Close your eyes and listen as hard as you can. And undying. What? Undying. I'm um, okay. Put the jawbone back into the sarcophagus, and in doing so, you notice something yellow hidden under the pillow. You grab it as a reward for your patience. Whoa. Rare rings vaguely based on true story. The one time there's a bunch of short people that was looking for a ring. Probably. 15 to each, wow. There's nothing that way, literally. There is nothing, it's hard to describe. What a fucking trippy place this is.
that's weird as fuck. Um, Petting Cemetery? You see what would be an oasis point the boiling heat of the region first fix towards it. It's near you discover what you would have fooled. There wasn't oasis at all, but an evil towering black stone cow monolith. Attack. Shattered that obsidian monstrosity book good. Oh, this is the petting cemetery. Got the buffalo bones right here. Well, now these will do just fine. Just, or do fine, just fine. Seems so we'll like go wire these together real quick. He sets the skeleton up and on its pedestal and returns to give you a pouch of meat. Cool. Nope. See ya. You know, I should actually try to raise my, uh, foraging. That way I can actually try to see what happens if I get fixed some local weed. Gives fix the weed. Right, where's the next grave site? Fort all dead, maybe? Back from dinner? Welcome back, Uni. How's it going? <laughs> this is part of me, sorry, see big bit uh, part of big this is huge. okay. There's no force in the universe that can get this tarp off that crate. Okay. Giant map of the region. This table has a little model of the region on it. It's a full of forces with toy skeletons. Probably get this army to attack a place by putting a little toy skeleton zone on the diorama thing. Where's Gustafson Gulch? Quiet rustling as though a single goblin were emerging through a crate filled with straw. No, I don't want to be there. The sign says library and goblin. Go inside. The shack is filled with crude bookshelves. The bookshelves, in turn, are filled with crude books. The three tiles catch your attention. Uh. Ask me if this seems. Uh, okay, there's more. A bunch of bird noise. Very complicated numbers. Stop. Rats, looks like the door is locked. Pick the lock. You make short work of the lock. You enter and turns out what to be a delicatessen. Uh, and help yourself to, to be, to what turn out to be sandwiches, probably. It's both a sandwich for goblins and a sandwich with meat is goblin. Ew. So sound coming from so check it out. Shack is filled with tiny cat, thousands of tiny cabins, each labeled with a number in goblin. Drawer 69105. There's no key or anything else to be found. Okay, keep digging around. Even random. Yeah, I remember looking through all these. Uh, no, check it out. Okay, check inside. Unlock the door. You enter what turns out to be a cafe and reconstruct a few cups of ch uh, chicory from the leavings of ver in various dirty cups and sinks. You still have to wonder why a cafe wouldn't be open at this time of day. You see a schedule post on the wall and sure enough it says, it says somebody named Gene is supposed to be working this shift. He was always a shiftless layabout, that Gene. Still, still getting from streaming without a panic attack? That is awesome, dude. I'm, I'm glad you're, it actually worked out for you. I'm not sure if, oh, yeah. 
lead into fight. So what does the sign say? Fuck off. Sign says treasure cave, this door to remain locked at all times. Too bad it's open. Goblin engagement ring and goblin tiara. It's dirty, but oh man, is it ugly. Okay. Alright, so I don't know if I want to attack Gustus and Gulch. Where was the other place? As the trail curves through a patch of marshy ground, you catch a whiff of something worse than swamp grass. Swamp gas. It's a stank above. A cow skull floating in a cloud of noxious vapors, and, and it saw you even before you smelt it. Really the crush that stinker. Where's the other place? Barnaby Bob's perfectly normal traveling circus. I haven't even been there yet, so I don't... I'm probably going to save that place for next time. Barracks. Yeah, full of whiskey, canteen. Bone chips, loose tea. Gold hat. Bits of damage. Somebody left in a knapsack. Right, look inside. All that's left there and there now is a diary. Read it. It seems to have been written by one of the necromancer's cultists. He and several others were reanimating the dead soldiers here on the theory that the best undead army would be a little undead army. The of the planet came when they raised the officers who decided they weren't going to take orders from a bunch of weirdo civilians. The last entry. Suggests that the author and his cohorts are planning on abandoning their station, reporting back to the necromancer. The entry abrupts and uh, en ends abruptly in the middle of a sentence. Does that add to my? BDSP will be shining out. Will you be sh shining out doing the Urkus? Sure as hell won't be when I finish the Broken Hicks of PLA. I'm not gonna get BDSP to be honest. One, two, oh, that's three. Okay. Tombstone pizza, what? Okay. This is made from the stuff growing on a grave. Thing for smelling salts. Looks like it. Each time I fight, there's more though. <laughs> Tube sounds pizza sounds fire, not gonna lie. Yeah. There we go, I got some more smelling salts. I don't know how many I can get. There's eight now. So that's that. Uh, 
Mushroom Ranch. Knowledge of Mushrooms. I feel like I'm missing something here. You gotta admire the dedication of Shine Andrews? Yeah. There's nothing here. Ducks plus trucks equals luck? Yeah. What the hell am I supposed to do for these? Go to the Dave Yard. Circle genre and red chalk. Let's see, according to that gross scroll, you need human ashes, some stardust, and a glass sphere if you want to do this ritual. Dig through all your stuff, but you don't find any glass spheres. Nuts. A glass sphere. How the hell do I get a glass sphere? Okay, I'm searching this one up. I feel like it's a, a necromancer thing. Murray's Curiosity and Bean. Okay. I was trying to play off stream more, but since it runs taken out, I might as well stream it. Yeah, I don't see why not. Definitely should. Alright, Guff's Dust and Bean. Wait, is it Roy Beans? No, M Murray's Curiosity and Bean. Okay, fuck. Uh, shot rings out and you duck in time to avoid your hat being ruined. Skeleton is... Skeleton is standing on the road ahead, arms akimbo, hands just over her holster, ready for another quick draw. Oh, she's literally on fire, I almost forgot to mention that. It seems to not be aware of this, but although bone does not burn to ash in the way wood does, intensity does cause it to get quite brittle. Yes. Someone goes for their gun, and the moment the quick draw causes the entire hand to pop off at the wrist and sail through the air, landing with a flop at your feet. Google translating songs through a shit ton of languages fun. Yeah. There, see, told you. The skeleton runs away embarrassed. Got red hot pistol. I actually need to, I need to go to dirt water of all places. Curiosity and Bean. Let's see what you got. I need Glass Sphere. There we go. Now we go to the date yard. Alright, I'm bitching. Alright, have a good night, Sphix. You nest by an empty whiskey bottle sitting atop a fence post about 60 paces away. Try to shoot it. With a single crack shot, you shoot and crack the single bottle. Nice shoot. Thank you for the drop in the Discord and uh, YouTube before you before you pass out. Hope you're having a good night, dude. Home the ritual. Don't have any stardust. Fuck. What did you...
Finding a meteor. I'm not wandering the baseline fucking. Oh, come on, I have to just wander around? Uh, ninth encounter, repeatable in regions 8F. West of Loathing regions. A to F, uh, that's... Oh, fuck, okay. So I'm just gonna wander around. Crescent Hill's skeleton popped on symbols, looking through a pair of binoculars at the prize. I guess he died before whatever he was waiting for showed up. Grab them. These will come in handy. Oh, I actually don't. They will come in handy because I'm done. Running along, you see some kind of braided fuses sticking out of a nearby rock. Investigating more closely, you see that somebody drilled a hole in the rock and inserted a bunch of dynamite. They apparently lost interest and wandered away without setting it off. Or maybe they were just out of matches. The lack of follow through is your gain. Two diamonds. Uh, leave it alone. I'm not gonna fuck with any El Vibrato now. Smoldering hole in the ground uh, is recognized, recognized as the habitat of the southeast western coal snake. I actually want to fight this one. This oh no that's Moxie. I hate something else. Come on, give me a meteor. Uh crate lot inside a trail and rock loose. Just fell off the back of the cart, limited stencil on the side, which seems a bit on the nose, but hey, free stuff is free stuff. Hell yeah. Press to hell with the Okay, grab these things. Trail of burnt vegetation off the side of the trail, which can only mean one thing. A hell, hell calf is grazing nearby. Gotta fuck that thing up. This wasn't a random encounter thing. Out in the middle of the desert, you find an abandoned, abandoned minecart. It's sitting on a section of minecart tracks about 12 feet long, which start nowhere in particular and ends even less of somewhere in particular. It's mostly full of old, plain old rocks, not even very interesting looking ones. However, you, if you left without searching it thoroughly, you'd end up driving yourself crazy later with the thought of that you might have missed something valuable. And so you spend a good half an hour inspecting rocks and find, eventually find one that might be worth something. Sorry if I'm speaking quick, I just want to, like, get this done. Running towards your destination, a flash of color. Curl the your horse and stop to investigate the source. One of those cacti with the rainbow-colored buns on it. Cactus bits. Uh, your Alvibrado transponder starts beeping. You follow it to a small outcropping of Alvibrado ruins in a nearby creek bed. Out of view, bits and pieces worth keeping. Uh, wagon stuff. Uh, golem. Uh, got a minecart.
crap. More crap that I won't use in particular. Floating cow skull. Approach it so I can get XP for Susie. Sorry if this is taking a bit long. Oh, there we go. See a streak of fire blast across the sky and land just over the horizon. Head right to the side of the impact and find a meteor. Get after it with your pickaxe. Pull the pick out and make short work and small rocks of the meteor. I got a shit ton of meat. And I got stardust. Unfortunately, your pick melts from the heat of the meteor. The heatier. Damn it. Alright, let's see. According to the gross scroll, you need human ashes, some stardust, and a vast fear if you want to do this ritual. As dictated by the scroll, you spread the ashes in a human shape in the circle, and add the stardust in the glass sphere while intoning the ritual chant. Dance, magic, dance. Put on your red shoes and jump, magic, jump. Ashes to ashes, funk to funky, shake it up, shake it up. Move it up, move it up, ch 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 ch, -ch changes. The universe shudders ecstatically around you as the ashes writhe and transform into the glamorous skeleton you've ever seen. Neat. That's the coolest looking skeleton you've ever seen. Hell yeah. Put a scup to that skeleton's magical dancing. Help yourself to a sweet knife. Berry knife. Oh, instead of a it oh I just I just realized that someone David Bowie and it's instead of a Bowie knife, it's a berry knife. I killed David Barry. <laughs> okay, oh, so that actually give me anything for necromancer crap. Alright. Next place I should try is we try Shaggy Dog. See if we can do some of these caves. Actually, it should probably be ending soon. Ish. Whoa! You insert the battery into the monolith and it springs to life. Everything goes blue for a second. I got energized again. Oh, this is a stupid plaque wall one. Actually, let's with that silver thing. Let's go to Silversmith's house. The sign says silver bolt make an apparatus help yourself. Silver branch is a little burner and crucible. Melting silver things and some bolt bolts. Seems pretty straightforward. There's also a vice you can smash silver bolts into nails if you want.
safe cracking. There's a note on the safe reading. I forgot the germ combination to this confound thing. If you can open it, you're welcome to what's in what's in it. Silver nuggets, nice. The bookshelf contains 90 copies of Johnny Tremaine. There's something weird about it though. It's too neatly organized. Maybe like the guy was hiding something. Search for see. Ooh, got a new place. Talk about one of the books, you find a small envelope filled with receipts. About half of them are from a shop called the Silver Plater. He was crooked. The silversmith was selling cheap fakes. Oh well, he's gone now and so are most of his customers. All of a sudden stirring up trouble at this point. There's no location of the shop that might come in handy. Also there's a spittoonia. Did I already interact with it? <laughs> Howdy, what can I do for ya? Mm, well, do you have a menu? Menu, what are you talking about? Isn't this a walk-up style restaurant? No, I'm a silver plater. I play things with silver, you know? Oh, I thought your sign was... Never mind. Man grins revealing a full set of silver plated teeth. Is something plated? What are my options? I could play what your ha I could play that hat you're wearing. People with silver hats get more done, they say. This will enchant your hat to add more, add one to your maximum action points. Maybe something else? Plate your melee weapon that you're using there, can do more damage that way. Increase your damage of your equipped melee weapon by three, or more against creatures or fumbled. No. Maybe something else? Plate your pistol, do more damage, maybe something else? So it's a fine looking tongue you've got there, I can plate that for you. Sure. My actual tongue, the one in my head. Yep. Oh, now I really want to try that. How much? I need money. Okay. Um, is there... Alright, hope that's enough. Cross pass with Wandered Sally. Okay, Wandered Sally time. Fortunately, nothing. Dusty wooden crate laying near the trail, and turns out to be half full of old dynamite. That's why I probably done something that should be just laying out this summer. Carefully pick out the freshest looking sticks and get away from the rest as quickly as possible. What are my options? Maybe something else, maybe something else, maybe something else. Plate my tongue. Oh, well, anything for anything for a weird life. Go ahead and silver plate my tongue. Why not? Open wide as, as you possibly can. The process is extremely painful. Immediately afterward, you ask him for a complete refund and he gives it to you. What? Your tongue is actually silver. Well, silver plated, but you've convinced people it's really silver. Oh, okay. What are my options? Plate your hat. 
Hand him your hat, and after a time he hands it back, shiny and gleaming. Take my leave. Crown-shaped Alvarado helmet is bestowed upon you for a very noteworthy achievement that you don't precisely understand. Seven of each plus one maximum AP. There's something I can do with it, though, can't I? Sure. Put the rainbow-colored snakeskin on your hat and beam with pride. So now my hat is silver-plated and has a snakeskin hat band. seem a little too thick to wander through. In all honesty, I really, really wish that that I knew where a lot of these like necromancer things are. Hopefully though next time we'll figure out something. I'm gonna end it here. Um, hmm. Hey, Avery's still kicking about. Let's raid Avery. He's playing Yakuza. Good stream? Thanks. I appreciate that. Every time someone says good stream, I always feel better. feel better about myself. I, I, it sounds egotistical, but it makes me feel like I'm actually doing something worthwhile, you know? Even if it's just like make making your uh, making your guys' days a little bit better, hopefully. Good stream, blub. Thanks. But I hope everybody has a good day or night or what have you. Um. Let's see. Uh. Here's the Discord. If you haven't joined the Discord yet. And here is the YouTube. If you haven't uh, subbed to this channel, uh, I post my VODs. I just recently did a massive dump of VODs, so. Uh, which reminds me, I gotta do some. Uh, uh, I, gotta, I gotta do some playlisting soon. Just to make sure that, like, everything is set and done. Also, I just realized I was kind of quiet this entire time, and I'm sorry for that. Um, the raid message will be. There. Kick their asses. If you don't have the uh, pew emo, feel free to use whatever you got. This is this is only because he's playing uh, Yakuza, so. Uh, yeah. Remember to show Avery some love. He's he's a fantastic dude. Uh, him and I have been have I've played Payday 2 before, and like I said, it's good good guy, good time. And uh, hope everyone's a good rest of their day or night. Uh, take care.